said it like say are five kilometers from Kolhapur on the road to Pune. Pune is around two thirty kilometers and we just stopped here. Switch. <laughs> So we have done around 620 to 790, 800 is like we around 180 kilometers. Pune is 240 more. So somewhere around 850, I will have to refuel, and the estimated time to reach Pune is 3 hours from here. So it's around 2 1. So by 4 I should be Pune. In the morning I gave you an estimate of 5.30 to reach Pune and now I should be in Pune by 4.30 so I'll say we have done good on our time and from here there are very less issues with the road. In fact the road is very much straight. So all I have to do is just follow the road straight, 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 straight. Hey guys, so Mumbai, the last milestone just showed me that Mumbai is 361 kilometers. It has been 20 kilometers from Kolhapur in exactly 15 minutes. So I would say we are going good. The constant speeds that we are maintaining are 18, 80 to 90. Since the high road is good, I don't have to worry about maintaining the speeds and everything else. But the only issues I'm facing are these buses and trucks that has somehow increased in number. I don't know why. So other than that, I don't see any issue. And yeah, I find a group of bikers. Yeah, it would be nice. I guess they are also Royal and Field, yeah, I can say Classics, Thunderbirds. Satara 86, Mumbai 315, and that's somewhere the function showed 356, no it's showing 315, I don't know what the hell are they doing. So I am not going fast, the bikers are driving at an average speed because they have to maintain the speed of the group. So there might be fast riders in the group, there might be slow riders in the group and they have to maintain a speed so that no one does speed, no one gets left behind. Uh, I'll be driving solo, I don't have to do all that. That is one plus point of riding solo, but yeah. So I can increase my increase and decrease my speeds at my own will. But yeah, riding in group is fun. I'm not saying that it's bad. There's always someone to look have your back. So far, done it. It. Uh, we are done around 800 kilometers. I have done 800 kilometers from Mumbai since I left. 800 kilometers, and uh, it's around 200 kilometers from Tarkarli now.
So there is light at the end of the tunnel and this light symbolizes that we have reached Pune 20 kilometers finally that was Kolewari Dhavad Dhavad Nih Dhavad Nih that is called Bhutan Tunnel is called Bhutan So it should not take us at this speed more than 30 minutes I'm feeling as if uh, Pune is running away from me. The more I try to, the faster I try to reach Pune from the past. One hour. The way it is going, the more away it is going. I don't know why. Is it me or is it the fools of the journey? Since Pune is one of my checkpoints, pit stops I would say so I'll just close the hazard lights I hope they are closed um, in the sunlight I can't see uh, yeah, they are closed and I'm closing at 90 That's, speeds are good enough, speeds have been good from in the time we left Kola there has been no issues with the average speed so far. This is the song six and five. That's what I thought. It looked like a song. Oh, look at that bridge. So, Hinjari 24, Pune 19. I guess I we have to go way past Hinjari also. So 25 is what, 25-26 is what I have in mind, it's around 450, so should be able to reach there by 530, hopefully 530 is not an understatement, that is the same time that I had. I've been expecting the morning.
So I have a bad news. My bike just got punctured as soon as I entered Pune. I guess there was some bad bump or something or a nail or something. And the puncture is so bad that uh, even when I put some air, it, uh, the sound comes out of the tire. So the rear tire, I forgot the spanner with me. I don't have the spanner with me of taking out the tire, otherwise I would have just taken out the tire. So I had to drag the bike good 2-3 kilometers for the guy to open up the puncture. Let's see how the things go from here. Hopefully he should be done in another half an hour with the puncture. Let's see. Yeah, so I guess uh, uh, that was kind of an adventure, I would say, that I did up in the end. Yeah, but that taught me a nice lesson that next time when I go off-roading, I will have to make sure that I change this get tubeless tires on my baby. At least tubeless tires will reduce the effort, as in, if, suppose in that uh, Aogaba village that we earlier past had it there been a puncher in that village it would have taken me a whole day just to drive my bike to the nearest puncher shop so it's any time better to get a so it's any time better to get a tubeless tire or you can easily remove the puncture or at least you can drive on the tubeless tire without getting up damaging your tire so let's see how things go maybe in the next ride I can add up a pair of tubeless tires at least not in the front at least in the back So it has been 11 hours and it, it is completely 1000 kilometers since I have left home, Mumbai exactly so and it has been around 500 kilometers from Tarkali, 400 kilometers of Yogi from Tarkali, feeling a little sleepy, what I'll do is I'll go to Sahil's place get freshened up, eat something maybe and then unless I need to open my shoes I need to look at my thumb how bad it is and then maybe I can proceed to Mumbai so Mumbai Pune have a even if I reach by 10 30 I don't think we should be having any problem there
done one for a trip so exactly 1000 kilometers i have done so it's 200 more till i reach pune chal bye see ya so rather than staying at night i first thought that i should stay at night but then i gave up the thoughts and thinking that morning would be screws your whole day like kalka pura din would be screwed so i thought that rather than staying it's what it's 7:40 ish so if even if i drive normally i should be home by 10:30 So I have to take the old Mumbai Pune highway. The only drawback of driving at this point is the light of these things. The light is too slow, too low, and my visor is smoked. So that just adds to the issue. So what I have to do is I have to just keep the visor up all the time and be extra attentive. Not go above sixty. That is something I need to do. and we should be home so far so good it's 7:30 around 7:40 is exactly and done around 420 km from tarkarli and 1009 km from home and so this is the last phase of the journey where i'm going back home